Santa flies around in his magical sleigh each year to drop off presents to all the good kids, but sometimes his magical reindeers need a break too. Since Santa is legally a Canadian citizen, it only makes sense that he will replace his reindeer squad on vacation with Canada geese. In this video, we will explore how many Canada geese it takes to fly Santa's sleigh by first calculating a realistic sleigh's weight, and then finding how much a single goose can carry using allometry and energetics. Then, we just divide how heavy the sleigh and presents are by the geese's carrying capacity, giving us how many geese are needed. For some assumptions, we are assuming that the geese are flying above the sleigh and dangling it below like so. The geese all have the same metabolism and are magical so that they don't get exhausted, ignoring the air resistance by the hypothetical sleigh, and that the weight of the harness for the geese and Santa himself is ignored since the sleigh is much heavier. So up first, the magical sleigh. This is a good year, so all 2.2 billion children around the world are receiving a present. Assuming each present is around 20 by 20 by 20 centimeters and weighs 146 grams on average, the weight of the presents alone is around 321,300,000 kilograms. Now for the sleigh dimension, we assume that the sleigh is 20 meters in width and 2 meters in height, so that we just need to find how long it must be. Assuming that Santa stacks the present into 50 layers, the sleigh will be 80 kilometers long, assuming each present is 20 centimeters in all dimensions. He will probably want to build his sleigh out of pine tree, which is native to the Arctic, where Santa lives. These trees are up to 80 meters tall and weigh 2,650 kilograms. Given the sleigh dimensions, it will take about 1,760 trees, bringing the weight of the sleigh to be 4,664,000 kilograms. This means that the geese will have to carry a total of 325,964,000 kilograms. Next, we will try to find a carrying capacity using scaling or allometry. If we found how much weight an eagle can carry, perhaps we can scale that relationship up to how much weight a Canada goose can carry. Therefore, we found 10 different species of birds of prey and plotted their weights against the average weight of prey that they can carry. Then, we long transformed the graph and got something like this. The golden eagle is right here, while the kingfisher is down here. We found the equation for the line of best fit in this graph and derived the allometry equation like so, where the M here stands for the mass of the bird. The average weight of a Canada goose is 6 kilograms, so plugging it into the allometry equation, the carrying capacity of a Canada goose is 2.1 kilograms according to this model. Next, we will try to find the carrying capacity using energetics and metabolism. The mechanical power needed to fly needs to overcome the drag produced as the bird is flying through the air. The drag depends on a bird's body and wing morphology, and also the velocity they travel at. For the most efficient travel in this context, they will be traveling at VMR, which is their maximum range of velocity, or the flight speed they need to travel at to cover the most amount of distance. And luckily, according to literature, an equation has been found for the power needed to travel at this velocity, which is as follows. Where B is the wingspan in meters, S is the wing's area in square meters, and M is the mass of the bird. And now, we want to find the maximum mass the bird can carry at this power output, which should be higher than the bird's mass so that it can fly in the first place. A bird's pectoral muscle accounts for 22% of its mass and is responsible for generating the flight power. For a pigeon, the power produced by 1 kilogram of muscle is 119 watts, and we will assume that the Canada goose has the same mass-specific muscle power. So now, with the 6 kilogram Canada goose, its maximum power generated will be 156.4 watts. So, the maximum mass a goose's wing can carry will be this. To find the carrying capacity of the goose, we just need to subtract the goose's actual weight by its maximum carry weight, which gives us how much extra weight the goose could carry with its wings. Plugging everything in, we see that the carrying capacity of the Canada goose is 1.322 kilograms from this model. Now, the final and easiest step is to divide the weight of the sleigh in presence by the carrying capacity of the Canada goose from the two models. We see that the number of geese it takes, and the answer to this video's question, is between 155,220,253 and 244,717,718 geese. In all of North America, it is estimated to have at least 7 million Canada geese. So, we will need around 35 million times more geese than what we currently have. There are some limitations to our models, of course. For allometry, we only looked at 10 different species of birds to reach an allometric equation. But more importantly, we are assuming that carrying capacity scales with body weight. For energetics, 
the muscle mass power was taken from a pigeon, which is less than one kilogram, so it may be a lot more different than a canine goose. And there we have it. Using scaling and energetics, we were able to calculate that in order to carry a hypothetical sleigh that weighs three hundred twenty-five million nine hundred sixty-four thousand kilograms, which was also estimated, we would need between one hundred fifty-five million two hundred twenty thousand two hundred fifty-three and two hundred forty-four million seven hundred seventeen thousand seven hundred eighteen Canada geese to do the job. I hope that you all have learned something interesting today. Thank you for watching and stay hydrated.